In the spirit of having nothing to talk about, I'm going to do a response video today. Boy, it sure didn't take long to run out of ideas. Maybe I should rethink this whole YouTube thing. Hmm. Nah, I'll just keep putting up random junk till I get good at it. That's what everybody else does. For fans of my channel, which consists currently of my dad and my cousin, today is going to be a response to Dan Brown's video, Hash from Strangers, link in the doobly-doo, in which he tells a few strange New York stories. In that spirit, I thought I'd share a couple of strange stories of my own. So I did my undergraduate degree at Loyola University, New Orleans, which, being a school run by Jesuit priests, requires nine hours or three courses of religious study. And so it is that our story takes place in World Religions 101. Now there are a few things you need to understand about this course. Number one, this is New Orleans in the spring semester, so it's always hot, it's always muggy, and thereby nobody gives much of a crap about learning world religions. Number two, this class met at 5 p.m. on a Friday. Number three, this teacher was terrible. She would just drone on and on and on and it would never change. It's really a, it's a wonder that I passed this class at all. And number four, this class took place on the top floor of the administrative building. Maybe two courses a year are in this classroom, which means unless you're in the course, you don't know where or when it's happening. So our teacher's just doing her thing, droning on and on. And the students are just sitting there, getting bored and hot and sweaty. And really tired because it's 5 o'clock on a Friday and we all wish we were in a lake or something. And as I sit there, half comatose, I suddenly hear a tapping sound in the hallway. Tick tap, tick tap, tick tap. And the teacher keeps being boring and the students keep being bored, but that tick tap sound persists. When suddenly the door flies open. <laughs> and a random guy in boxer shorts, a sports jacket, and a top hat bursts into our room, and does that. <sighs> the best part of the story for me was watching our teacher get up off the ground because she'd in fact been so startled that she fell the heck over. The next story has a little bit more to do with Dan's pot-themed video. It takes place my junior year of high school, and I'm sitting in the back of an English class. For some reason, I always ended up sitting right next to the stoners in that room, and I didn't so much mind because they kept to themselves, didn't want to be bothered, and for the most part, neither did I, so it worked out. And this policy of us just leaving each other alone worked pretty well right up until the last, like, two minutes of class, when the leader of said stoner group would lean over to me and say, Hey, man. Want to come over and smoke pot after school? To which I would reply, No man, smoking's not really my thing with the whole singing business. So... To which he would reply, Hey man, that's cool. <laughs> now I understand that a kid getting offered pot in high school by itself isn't a strange story, but the thing that really takes the cake on this is that he would ask me this after every class, for three months. Now, I'm not actually sure if he forgot every single class, or if he just really wanted me to smoke pot with him, but sure as clockwork, two minutes before the end of the class. Hey man, wanna come over and smoke pot after school? I don't think I've ever had the exact same conversation more often in my life. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and please leave some comments about strange stories that you have, or better yet, leave a video response. I'm Michael Davidson, and this was Cadential M.
Quick German tidbit, while the word for New Year's is Silvester, when you're out buying party provisions at the store, as you leave, the cashier is going to say, Good Nutsch, which means good slide, and it implies that you should slide easy into the New Year.